Welcome for math lesson. In the former lesson, we saw how to represent linear inequalities on graphs. And uh, in this session, I'll be teaching a common region which can be satisfied by different linear inequalities simultaneously. So we've known how to represent a linear inequality and we identify the region which is satisfied by the given inequality. Now in this case, we'll be seeing a common region satisfied by different inequalities. Now because we've known how to plot the inequalities, we'll go straight to an example and uh, we'll consider the given case here. Example shown the region represented by represented by then we have the inequalities here 2x plus y greater than 3 x minus y less than or equal to 4 then y less than or equal to 3 to show the region which is being represented by these three inequalities solution said when you see an inequality you first identify the respective equation of a line which will represent the given inequality therefore for the first inequality then we will draw the line 2x plus y greater than 3 instead of this inequality we will draw the line 2x plus y equal to 3 therefore we come up with a table for for this equation of a line a table of x and y then you calculate a few coordinates we can uh, we can start with a coordinate like uh, when x is 0 replacing x in the equation we will have y as 3 and uh, when x is something else like uh, like 1, then we will get y as 3 minus 2 by 1, which is just 2. Therefore, this will be 1. So those two coordinates are enough. Therefore, we will be drawing the three inequalities on a common Cartesian plane. Therefore, drawing the Cartesian plane, we can represent that line. So now plotting the line, we we'll have 0, positive 3, and 1, positive 1. Then you join the two coordinates using a very straight line. Because the inequality is not showing the inclusive sign, then we are going to use a dotted line. The line in this case is not complete. We use an incomplete line. So we join the dots using an incomplete line and the line is 2x plus y equal to 3. That is the line. The next step is identifying the required side of this inequality. The required side. So we can take a coordinate on this side like 3, 2 for example. You see coordinate 3, 2. For example, we can test whether that side satisfies the inequality. So where we have x, we put a 3, and this will be 6 plus, where we have y, we put a 2, 
8 greater than 3. This is very correct. Therefore, because it is correct, when we feed these values in the inequality, it is agreed that this side is greater than this. Then this is the required side, meaning that we are going to shade this lower side. This is the side which is not required. So this side is required. The next inequality, x minus y less than or equal to 4, we will follow the line x minus y equal to 4. And we should master that because of this inclusiveness, then we are going to draw a complete line. Therefore, a table of x values and y values, when, uh, when y is 0, x is 4 and when x is 0 when x is 0 then y is negative 4 therefore this is the line we shall draw 4 0 4 0 that is the point and 0 negative 4 this is the point therefore we join the arrow points using a very straight line and in this case a complete line. A complete line. Therefore, to identify the required site, we can pick a point here, point three one. We can use point three one. So for this inequality, we use point three one. Where we have x put a three, where we have y, we put a one. Therefore, 3 minus 1 is 2, less than or equal to 4. It is true that 2 is less than 4. Therefore, this side, where the chosen coordinate is, is the required side. And because it's the required side, then it means we shade the opposite side of the required side, like that. It is good to label this line. This is line, line x minus y equal to 4. That is the the line and lastly we have line y less than or equal to positive 3 therefore y equal to 3 for this one for y less than or equal to 3 we follow the line y equal to 3 therefore line y equal to 3 is here and it is complete because of this sign it is complete it should be complete Therefore, we draw the straight line complete. The straight line like that. And now we are saying y should be less than or equal. So less than, the parts which are lesser than 3. Any value of y greater than 3 is unrequired. Therefore, okay, so let us now, uh, if my, my graph was somewhere on this side, these two lines could be intersecting somewhere. But now, we are seeing a common region, we can label it R, which is satisfying the three inequalities. So this is the line Y equal to three. It's good to label all the lines. Therefore, that's how we identify a region which has been satisfied by different inequalities simultaneously. That's how we come up with a common region. The other thing we can do is uh, when an inequality has already been uh, represented graphically to identify the inequality which led to the given graph. And I'll bring an example. I'll bring an example. We are told, for example, determine the inequality which satisfies the following unshaded region. Determine the inequality which satisfies the following or the unshaded part the unshaded region below 
Then a graph is drawn of a Cartesian plane. This is the y axis, the x axis, and we are given a line which cuts through four, four five. This mark, a complete line which cuts through four. Have it here and negative five four and negative five like that then the shaded side is this one this is the shaded side we are told to determine the inequality which satisfies which satisfies uh, this and shaded side therefore to, to solve this one solution because we already have the x as the, the x intercept and the y intercept then we can have the y intercept as point zero four and the x intercept as negative five zero and with the intercepts we can get gradient m as change in y all over change in x minus zero so this is negative four all over negative 5 giving us 4 over 5 as the gradient therefore with the gradient now as with the gradient as with the gradient as 4 over 5 and a point zero four, then we can get the equation of this line we can get the equation which led to this line therefore The equation will be the gradient is given by y minus 4, then all over x minus 0, which is just x. Therefore, 5 by y minus 4 by 5, which will be a 20, is equal to 4x. Is equal to 4x, like that. Therefore, now with this inequality, with this inequality, then we can determine because we have an equal sign here now we can determine the inequality which will be fair the inequality which will be fair and uh, we can choose to consider a coordinate negative 5 4 a coordinate negative 5 4 therefore we can fix now the value of x as negative 5 and the value of y as 4 therefore y being 4, this will be a 20, minus 20. Then we have the unknown inequality sign here, 4 times x, which is a 4, 16. Therefore, this becomes 0, and this is a 16. So with the 0 and 16, how are they related? They are related that 0 is less than 16. And because the line is complete, then we must have that it is also equal to because of the completeness of the line. Therefore, now the inequality symbol has been determined. So we shall have 5y minus 20 greater than, less than or equal to 4x. So that's how we identify the inequality which has led to the drawing of this this uh, graph so that's how we determine it thank you for following you can have nice time share our link and subscribe to shifting grids thank you